doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. It's a bit cool out here tonight. I think we're supposed to get down to 28 degrees. And we're in a winter storm watch for, well, this is uh, Friday night, kind of late. Tomorrow, I guess we're going to get up to about 45, but it comes rolling in on Sunday and we're in a winter storm watch in uh, central Texas. But anyway, that's why I'm all decked up with the coat and everything, because I have my little shop and filming studio on one side of the garage, and of course the garage doesn't have a whole lot of insulation, so anytime weather gets less than 50 degrees, some of us down here start to get a bit cold, but hey, I can handle the cold. Uh, it's the, some of the blasted heat in the summer that tears me up. Anyway, tonight, I've got this pretty baby that I want to talk about. Let me put this thing a little closer. All right. This baby right here, this is a Taurus PT-92. And uh, I've had this gun for a couple of years now. I did change the grips. Got them pretty grips on Amazon, I think. But uh, this is a nine millimeter, just like the Beretta 92. Of course, it's a knockoff of that. And I'll get into the, uh, the particulars and histories of it as I get into the uh, uh, nuts and bolts. So let's first make sure that this thing is empty. And it is totally empty. So this birdie baby. I still don't have the camera exactly where I want it, but oh well, we'll deal with it. This uh, kind of a dual tone. You got uh, kind of a brushed stainless and then a chrome type of stainless going on here. Uh, and then these nice mahogany grips that really makes it look nice. Uh, the sights, you've got kind of a red dot front. And two white dots in the back. It's uh, pretty easy to get the sight picture on. And uh, of course, it's a double action, just like the Beretta 92. It's just a knockoff of Beretta 92. And uh, this was manufactured in uh, Brazil. Of course, Taurus comes from Brazil. I've heard some people give this a bad name, but uh, you know, I haven't had any problems with it. It shoots real nice. Um, so let's take a look at it a little bit. Uh, comes with two 17 round mags. You can get 20 round mags for like $19. They're not too expensive. Of course, that was about three months ago when I checked on the price. I haven't checked on it lately. They're probably all out of stock, just like everything else. Anyways, uh, it's a full-size pistol, just like the 92. It's a full handful. Of course, this is a double stack. Like I said, it's got 17 plus 1. It's double action. And so you got double action. Not bad trigger from a uh, single action, but you go... Double action, still bad, not, not a bad trigger. Of course, one of the things about this that it has is the, it's a little bit different. It's got your safety up on the, uh, the slide itself. Well, no, I take that back. That's up on the frame. And uh, it does have a decocker. It's ambidextrous safety. Ambidextrous uh well, that's it. The safety is ambidextrous. Uh, the mag release is only on the left, although you can switch it around if you want. And the slide stop is only on the left. Uh, it's got decent serrations on the back. Some pretty heavy serrations. The front is not serrated, although it does have a rail for a light laser or whatever. As you can see this this thing is real shiny and nice pretty uh like i said i've had it for a couple of years probably put about a thousand rounds through it so it's held up to a thousand rounds with not any problems 
Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot. Of course, I don't shoot it as much as I'd like to nowadays because of the price of the ammunition and all that. I'm trying to conserve. You know, you never know what's going to happen with the crazy world we're living in right now. You know, are you going to need your ammunition for self-defense or, or what? And so I'm very frugal when I go out to the range. You know, it, it's important to go out to the range to keep your shooting abilities up. Get used to the various guns you use. And, uh, you know, any of the guns that I carry, I like to at least go once a month and put... I <laughs> used to put 50 to 100 rounds through each of my carry guns, but gosh, you know, you put 50 rounds through now with rounds going for, you know, on the average of a dollar a round, you know, you put 50 through, that's 50 bucks. So, <clears throat> got to be frugal nowadays. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, the back strap has uh, some uh, lines uh, right into the metal and has the front strap as well. Uh, of course, this is a standard uh, Beretta takedown. You push this arm in and then flip the takedown lever over here and it come right off. Um, but I just wanted to show you this pretty baby. I think I picked it up for about $400. That was two years ago. I don't know. <laughs> They're probably out of stock right now. I don't know. You start to see some guns come back in. But, uh, you know, I know a couple of young, new gun owners. and They go out and get them a gun, and they got nothing to shoot in it. Because everything is just dried up, dry as a bone around here. Unless you got some... I found over at a place called Guns Galore. Um, I used to go pick up... 30-06 M2 ball ammo there for my Garand, but they're even out of that. But I was over there the other day looking for that M2 ball, and uh, they had some, I don't know, several boxes of 9 millimeter Mac, and so I have a couple of those pistols, so picked up some of that. And then they had the, the Toke ammo and the Nagant ammo, and so quite a bit of the ammo for the guns that... <clears throat> usually people don't have um you know it's kind of funny what four or five years ago everybody was like well i'm just gonna have nine millimeter and five five six because when things get bad that's be the ammunition that'll be most plentiful boy i tell you that's nothing further from the truth right now um but anyway what we'll do is uh, i'm probably gonna Head in, I got some other things I got to do. And tomorrow I'll get in and finish this. We'll do an up close and personal look at this thing. And I'll show you my, I did take this range a couple of weeks ago. Show you the range video of this. And then we'll do a little nuts and bolts breakdown. And then that'll be it. And then this lovely little PT-92 Taurus will be officially listed on the Weapons Tech Mac channel. And so, We'll go to that end. All right, so let's take a closer look at this PT-92 by Taurus. Of course, it's a single double action, nine millimeter Luger, five inch barrel, capacity is 17 plus one, comes with two magazines. Safety is ambidextrous. Um, sights are three dot fixed. So the rear sight is uh, dovetail there. You'll be able to do something with it. The front, though, is right into the slide. Okay, weight is 34 ounces. Uh, frame material is aluminum. Slide description is stainless steel. Um... Of course, this is by Taurus. Taurus has their thing and knock off of the Breda 92, like I said earlier. And basically, a little bit of the history behind Taurus and Beretta. In 1974, a large contract for the Beretta 92 was issued 
<clears throat> by the Brazilian army, for which Beretta set up a factory in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This factory was later sold to the Brazilian gunmaker Taurus in 1980. After the contract had expired, shortly thereafter, Taurus closed down the factory and transferred the original Beretta machinery to their factory in Porto Alegre and Rio Grande del Sol, using it to make their own pistol, which were basically a knockoff copy of the Beretta 92. Um, now, like the Beretta, the Taurus utilizes the open slide design where the upper portion of the slide is cut away, exposing much of the barrel itself. The original PT-92S in most aspects and respects exactly like the original Beretta 92, though it was also unusual for the time that it featured a squared trigger guard for supporting the index finger of the opposite hand while firing. All right, so <clears throat> of course the uh, Taurus is much less expensive than the Beretta. The Taurus PT-92 now has done some changes and revisions in design and uh, now it's still pretty much an exact copy of the 92, the Beretta, however, was uh, <clears throat> soon changed and they, oh, let's see, I'm getting off here. I'm trying to give you some history of this thing. Um, of course, their magazines, aftermarket magazines for the Taurus PT-92, Beretta 92 often, Early PT-92s and PT-99s did not feature a third safety position decocker that is now standard. Now, more recently, Taurus has begun manufacturing the PT-92 with a thicker trigger guard and uh, changed the 15-round magazine to a 17-round magazine and give it more comparable firepower to Glock 17. Of course, you can get 20 round magazines for this thing now. Now, the Taurus PT-92 still retains many of the original design elements from the Beretta. <clears throat> so, that's kind of the history behind this thing. Uh, there are some people say they don't last as well. I don't know. I haven't had any problems with that. This gun's functioned pretty much every time I've taken it out flawlessly. So, uh pretty gun I'll tell you that I'll notice that uh, there are some in stock but they've gone up about $75 since I purchased this a couple of years ago so here I'm going to uh, change this and, uh, and uh, show you uh, the, the range time and uh, then we'll kind of do a little nuts and bolts and uh, maybe compare it with the Beretta 92S and then finish this thing off. All right, we got a Taurus PT-92, pretty baby, yeah? See how this Taurus does. Purview of my cameraman right here, Mr. Victor Alejandra, and he is a cameraman extraordinaire. All right, all right, so here it is compared with the 92S. So you can see they're almost pretty much exactly alike. Of course, like I said, the Taurus PT 92 is just a knock off of the Beretta since Taurus had all the Beretta's machinery had a license to make Beretta 92's basically and uh, of course that PT or S uh, Beretta 92S there is uh, Italian police turning so it's European got the 
the mag release right down there. But uh, that's PT-92, it's got the normal American mag release. So I'll just give you a little look you see between regular Beretta and the tar. All right, so Cars PT-92, I'll just kind of put a wrap on it. Uh, it's a pretty gun. It shoots nice. It's reliable. I've had no problems with it. Of course, Taurus gives you a lifetime warranty. I know there are some people who scoff at that, but hey, you know, times I've seen in one Taurus gun that had an issue, they, you know, it took them about six weeks, but they returned it all fixed. So, PT-92, a pretty gun, a fun gun to shoot. Let's see, what else can I talk about it? Uh, of course, you look at the top here, the top of the slide, it's got kind of an anti-glare thing going right there, although the barrel's all shiny, so that's kind of, uh, decocker's nice. Um, you wanna put a lighter laser, you got Picatinny rail right there. this way if you want but I'm not much into that I'll just hold her down like that um, what else did I want to talk about I think that's about it get out the bright shine it's gonna blind you so it's not something you take to war I'll tell you it's something you have pretty up in your your display cabinet if you wanted to do that but it is very accurate. I've had uh, some really nice groups. When I shot it this time, I had been in the safe for about seven months, so it takes me a bit to get used to, you know, shooting various guns that have been in the in the safe for a long time. But I'm sure if I had some time to take it out and and. Uh, use it for a while, you know, I'd get used to having better groups like I did last summer. Now, there's one thing I want to show you. I'm going to pop right over here. Something Taurus does. A lot of people don't like it. Me, I don't, I don't know. I'm one way or the other about it. Now, you see many of Taurus guns have this little key. All it is is a little hex head. And you notice this Thing right down there on the grip. You want to lock this thing up. You just turn this thing down, and it's gonna it's gonna lock it up, and you can't do anything about it. But you know, if you have somebody that got a little Allen wrench, and, you know they can turn it down there, and there you go. But that's one of the strange things about. Taurus, you got that on most of their guns. Even the revolvers got this weird little key. I don't know, you know, I have one in my range bag when I have Taurus out. It's there all the time, just in case something should turn that thing down and inadvertently and you find out the damn gun ain't working. Make sure you go get one of these, uh, get your little Allen key there and, and make sure that's not the problem. But, uh, Hey, I, I like this gun. I'll give it a thumbs up. It shoots good. So far, it's reliable. It's a pretty gun, that's for sure. And so, this is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of a cold, snowy Texas. Uh, God bless Texas. God bless the United States of America. We're going to need it. And long live the Republic. Find it.